Hi there! Welcome and thank you so much for joining me. I thought I'd take a moment to share with you 10 fragrances I've selected for your New Year's festivities. Whether you choose to stay in or enjoy them out and about, I feel that these fragrances will serve you well. Let's get started! First I have for you Ambre Précieux by Matre, Parfumeur et Gantier. This is a fantastic fragrance. Uh, I would have perhaps featured Mita, but it is now retired and I wanted to feature fragrances that are still in current production. This is a fantastic amber fragrance and is considered by many as maybe one or two reference ambers and um, I think it's a wonderful fragrance. This really, when one sniffs it on a blotter or from the spritz nozzle, it doesn't do its justice. It really does um, come to life on the skin. It's fantastic. Next I have for you one of my favorite Serge Luton's and this is Fleur d'Oranger. This is um, a gorgeous, full-bodied, orange blossom white floral fragrance. This is fantastic, amazing, is a year-round fragrance, will hold up in the cold, uh, as well as uh, excel in the warmer climates. One of my favorites. Next I have for you, Ambre Nuit by Christian Dior from the La Collection Privé line. This is a wonderful, fantastic fragrance. I, um, it's one of my loves. I consider it a masterpiece. Uh, the warmth in it is amazing. There's this shimmery top. I just love this fragrance. I think this is a fantastic choice for New Year's. Next I have for you Precious Oud by Van Cleef & Arpel, part of its Collection Extraordinaire. Uh, range of fragrances. This is really lovely. This is a this is a finer, better black orchid. Next I have for you Santal Majuscule by Serge Luton. This is a really wonderful fragrance. Now I've reviewed it. Uh, I've also reviewed um, Fleur d'Oranger as well as Ambre Nuit. These two I have yet to. Uh, so this fragrance I have reviewed. I did not get into um, any of the chemical constituents in there because uh, it's not my area of expertise, but I may have caused some confusion because this is um, not a body spray. It's an eau de parfum concentration. But as I understand it, uh, the ISO E Super in it may render certain individuals olfactive uh, receptors desensitized. So one isn't really able to detect, to detect it after a certain point. Now, I may be one of those individuals, so I apply rather generously. I love the fragrance, and I think it has a great universal appeal. Uh, most of the fragrances that I featured are g fairly gender neutral. Um, I think that conventionally, one might consider Serge Luton's Fleur d'Oranger to lean a little feminine, but otherwise completely gender neutral. Next, I have for you, ah, I love this one, Amouage Honor Woman. This is a wonderful, beautiful, bit of a shouty white floral. Um, this, I would say, conventionally speaking, uh, many will consider to have feminine leanings, but if you're a man with a certain olfactive uh, adventurous spirit or you're a man that likes florals um, I don't see why you can't wear this um, it just depends on one's taste but I love this one and when I selected many of these fragrances I sort of kept in mind uh, something celebratory sort of upbeat happy if you will um, so that's how I sort of went about selecting um, these 10 fragrances. Next I have for you, uh, not the brightest and most upbeat fragrance, but still uh, 
a, 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 an amazing fragrance. This is just gorgeous. Every time I smell it, I fall in love with it all over again. This is a fantastic fragrance. And this is Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. Next I have for you, Oud Ispahan, also by Christian Dior, part of its La Collection Privée. Um, this is just fantastic. Uh, this is a masterpiece, a top shelf masterpiece. That's what this is, a top shelf masterpiece. Suitable for both genders. Um, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Next I have for you one of um, my top shelf masterpieces, in addition to Udi's Behan, but this dates back from 2010, um, as you can see from the quite the um, uh, trashed label. It's, it's sort of peeling and faded, as well as the top is um, the matte black plastic. And this was purchased for me at the Madison Avenue Boutique. I love this fragrance. This fragrance was a signature for about two years. Um, not so much, I didn't wear it day in, day out, but uh, I wore it very often and I love it. Um, a very upbeat, sort of active fragrance. Uh, this is a fragrance that I cannot wear to bed or to unwind. This is a wind up fragrance, is what this fragrance is. Uh, I've tried. I. Um, had this on, I think I tried to lay down for a nap, and I, for the life of me, couldn't sleep. Um, but this is a very active fragrance, energetically. It just, it, it's gorgeous. Um, I love it. It'll always have a fond place in my heart. And lastly, I have for you Armani Privé Rose Darby. This is a gorgeous fragrance. Um, my goodness. I love it so much. This is gender neutral, um, just the perfect fragrance for so many occasions. Um, I mean, I think it'll serve you at any given event. I wear it day to day, I wear it to sleep, I wear it for special occasions. It's uh, sort of a go-to for me. Um, this one, I believe, I personally feel uh, can be gender neutral, but I think that um, Conventionally, many may consider it feminine. So there you have it, my selection uh, for New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve festivities, and into the new year. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your viewership as well as your subscribership. All my love.